In today's video, we're going to go over how to pass your real estate salesperson exam on the first try in the state of Nebraska. And we're going to start right now. Now, the state of Nebraska offers two types of real estate licenses. You can get a broker's license or a salesperson license. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, the salesperson license. Now, let's talk about some of the requirements in order to obtain, obtain your real estate license. First, you have to be a high school graduate or have a GED, and you have to be 19 years of age or older. And the next requirement is you have to successfully pass a criminal background check by the state patrol. Okay, and you'll also have to complete 60 hours of instruction, which uh, will consist of two courses. Um, and another requirement, and this just recently passed, and that is you'll need to complete another six hours of class on professionalism. And then after you're licensed, you have to take an additional 12 hour class on the business within eight, 180 days of obtaining your license. Now let's go into some of the tips and strategies and talk about timing because that's very important in order to pass your exam. Now I'm a big proponent of taking your classes in person. Now you'll have choices of different classes and I think you wanna maintain your focus on taking two specific courses. A, you wanna take principles and practices and you wanna take sales and brokerage and here's why real estate principles and practices, the exam is broken down into two parts. There's a state portion and a national portion. Principles and practices will take care of going over the material on the national portion and real estate sales and brokerage will go over Nebraska license law. So you definitely want to take those two courses. And now we're going to talk about timing and strategy. Register and take P and P principles and practices. It takes about a month to complete the course. Okay, it's two nights a week and it's over nine class periods. Now, once you have registered for the class, get your textbook right away and start reading and study even before you go to your first class. And then the other thing you want to do, and this is an important is there's a, a video channel, I'll include a link in the, in the description and uh, I'll, I'll leave a card for it above, but you wanna start watching videos on the real estate classroom. Now this uh, channel was put together by Paul Volchesky and he does a fabulous job of going over some of the material. So you wanna watch those videos over and over and over and over again to reinforce those principles, okay? Now, while you're enrolled in the PNP course, I would contact the Nebraska Real Estate Commission and start the fingerprint and background check because you want to start that early because that takes about nine weeks to complete. Okay, and then once you've completed PNP, then immediately take sales and brokerage. Don't have a big delay or a big gap between courses because you want that material to be fresh in your head. Then you take sales and brokerage. While that's, uh, you take that course, then your uh, background check is going on at the same time. Then by the time you've completed both courses and taken the real estate exam prep course, which is a two day intense class, then by that time your background check is done because you cannot sit for the national and state exam until your background check is complete. So you don't want a long gap. You don't want to complete both courses and then have this big long gap before you take uh, the test. Now the test is challenging. Okay, what makes the test challenging is that you have to study on your own. You have to go on beyond just memorization. You have to really understand the concept and be able to apply concepts. Okay, the test is multiple choice and you have to select the best answer. The people who 
do the best on the the test study at least two hours a day all during this time period now you want to spend an hour on the national portion and you want to study an hour of the state portion now the next thing you want to do is do a two-day exam prep course and you can take that through randall school of real estate and i highly recommend that course now when you take the exam prep course they're going to give you a book and it's going to have a lot of material in that book and it's going to have a lot of sample test questions okay you want to work through that book book and take those practice practice exams before you actually take the two-day prep course because you want to go over and then you want to have if you have questions about which tests you miss which questions you miss you want to be able to bring those up on in the in the course but you're gonna have to study I can't emphasize that enough people make a mistake here's where people mess up they do not study enough and this is not like college where you can just show up or take both courses and then just kind of wing it you got to really understand the concepts the other way people mess up is they wait too long in between the courses and before they take their exam so you got to, it's going to be like taking a drink out of a fire hose. It's going to be intense, but you got to, uh, otherwise some of the concepts are perishable. If you wait too long, you're going to forget stuff. Okay. Um, another way they mess up is they don't start that background check soon enough. And again, it delays the process. And then here's the other way that people mess up. It's exciting getting your real estate license and everybody wants to get out there and start making money and everything. But sometimes people get ahead of their skis. And then what they do is they focus on their post education after they're licensed, where they're, they're focused too much on what they need to do after they're licensed. Focus on passing the exam first. And here's why. Number one, the exam costs you money every time you take it. And if you, uh, you know, fail the exam, that co could postpone your career another month. Well, that could be a whole nother month of commissions that you're missing out on. So you want to make sure that when you're, before you're licensed, you know, tr hey, it's a good idea to talk to real estate companies and that sort of thing. But I would caution you about taking, getting involved with their training on how to make money in real estate before you actually pass the exam. Okay, so hopefully those are some tips that will help you out. If you have any questions about getting your real estate license or anything like that, or if you have any suggestions, if you've taken the exam recently, and if you have any suggestions on what could help folks out, leave that in the comment section below. And oh yeah, hey, don't forget, hey, subscribe to my channel and go ahead and give this video up a, a thumbs up and you make it a great day.